Hello YouTube, welcome back to Denisha's World. Thank you again for tuning in to the channel. If you're new, welcome to the channel. My name is Denisha and as you see, I am in my kitchen today and I will be doing a cooking video for all of the people that are coming back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel and thank you again, once again, for always coming back and supporting. And all of our newcomers, thank you guys for tuning in for the first time. And also make sure you guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And also make sure your post, uh, post notification bell is pushed so you don't miss a video every time we upload on this channel. But today, y'all, I'm going to be making my homemade um, fried burritos. My family loves these. I'm going to show y'all what all I'm using here in a minute. But, yeah, they love these. So, we'll be putting in um, ground turkey. And I have the ground turkey here. I use the honeysuckle ground turkey. And I normally use three. We uh, normally eat this two nights in a row, so that's why I got three um, ground turkeys out y'all. We ain't that greedy, in fact. But normally we use this, uh, we eat this two nights in a row, so that's why I always make sure I cook enough. Then I have my skillet here that I'm going to ground the um, ground beef in. And that is the skillet. Camera, this, the vanity is behind the camera, y'all. Excuse her. I mean, it's in the she, brain. She, yeah, she, she's in the camera, behind the cameras for me today. But anyways, we're going to be doing that. It's ground turkey that's going to be in them. I'm doing a Mexican rice, um, some corn, and whatever else they want inside of their burritos. Half of the time, they don't put their stuff inside of the burrito. They just do the meat and the uh, cheese. So... I have all of that. Me and hubby are going to be putting pico de gallo, sour cream, and meat, rice, and corn in ours and on top of ours. But I'm going to show you now the seasonings that I use for my meat over here. I use two of the Taco Bell seasonings. And I don't know if y'all have ever heard of Sorok Socorro's. But as y'all can see, she is... B-L-A-C-K, black owned seasoning, taco seasoning. Yeah, I love the mild kind and the original kind. So I normally do about half and half of both. And sometimes I'll use the whole original. And then I also use the margarita. I know y'all thinking, damn, that's a lot of seasoning. But y'all, you do not knock it before you try it. Please do not. It's not salty. It's none of that. It is well seasoned. It's not overbearing. None of that. So that's why I use all of these seasoning. And you have to remember, I do have three ground turkey. And then I'm going to also season the meat with some garlic powder, parsley, and back black pepper. Really don't need no other sauce and stuff. Just dealing with all the salt that is inside of there. And then we fry the burritos in the small skillet so y'all get to see me do that once I get everything else done. I'll also show y'all the uh, rice and the corn once I get that done. But now we're getting ready to hop into doing the meat. So first I'm going to wash my hands. Can't cook no food with no dirty hands. So let me get to washing the hands. And then we can hop into this video. Y'all can see the kids ain't put no soap in this uh, soap thing. It's Destiny's job. Y'all know these kids, they think they, they, ain't, they ain't supposed to do no chores. But the chores that they remember at the moment. Hey now, so, man. That's why the soap is like that. So I just struggled a little bit. All right, hands clean. Now we're gonna get over here and get the ground turkey cracking. And all I do is just cut the packets open and dump them inside of the skillet. put my season in here right when I start cooking it just so all of the flavor cooks into the meat. So 
right, that's what I'm getting ready to do now. I'm starting it off on high just to get it going. Then I'm gonna go in just with my regular seasonings and then all those taco seasons to go in after all of the meat is cooked. So I don't measure my seasoning because I pretty much can eyeball and know when I have enough. So if you got the eye like I got, you don't necessarily have to measure out the seasoning season to your liking. Then I'm gonna sprinkle some parsley. Yeah, I know people say don't put parsley in everything, but I feel like we put it in every single thing. I don't know if the, I like the just the green sprinkles in the food, but I like putting parsley in there just to see. It makes it look fancy to me. I don't know, call me weird, but comment down below if you feel the same way when it comes to parsley. Do you feel like you use it unnecessarily? <laughs> But now I'm just putting some black pepper. Like I said, I don't measure. Make sure I get enough in here. Like I have three packs of meat, so I wanna make sure it's good and seasoned. Like I said, I love me some good seasoned meat. So now as this is warming up, I'ma let this cook and I'll be back once um, I get the meat browned a little bit so y'all can see what it looks like and everything. And then I'll show y'all the next steps from there. Peace. Alrighty, y'all. So this is the meat pretty much halfway done. You can see it is still a lot of peak in there. You want to make sure all of this is brown before you go in and add your taco seasoning. So as of right now, I'm still letting it cook down. I do not leave all of this juice in here. As y'all can see all of that juice. I let all of that cook up out of there. I don't, I don't be going none of that up in there. So I don't be wanting to drain it, none of it. I just cook it all out until it's gone. And then I go in and add my taco seasoning in. So I'll see y'all when I get to that step. All right, so now we're gonna add in all of the taco seasonings. As y'all can see, all of the meat is nice and brown. All of that juice is gone out of there. Now I'm just gonna go in and add all of the taco seasonings, turn it down on low. So I get all of these in here. Like I said, y'all, I use two of the Taco Bell and then two of the, what's the name of it? Socorros. Socorros, whatever it is. But yeah, so I'm about to get all of these dumped in here. Then all you're going to do is just get this all mixed up well. Make sure all the meat is nice and coated with all of the seasoning. And then we're going to add some a little bit of water in here. That way that helps the seasoning to stretch and spread out throughout the meat. Okay, I just pour all of them in there. That's about half of the original. And then I put half of the mouth. Look at that, y'all. Look at all that good seasoning, all that good flavor. You don't use these Taco Bell, I mean, these taco seasonings. You might want to try it. Comment down below if you've ever tried any of these uh, seasonings that I'm using. This is the roux, my little 
nice fried potato, uh, fried burritos that I make and my family loves them. I actually got the corn on here too and I got the water back here waiting on it to come to a full boil so I can add the um, Spanish rice in there. Like I said, we're gonna have corn, rice inside of the uh, burritos along with the meats. And then I'll show y'all it all nice and dressed up and what they look like after we get done frying them. So y'all stay tuned. The meat is pretty much done. Just get it nice and mixed up and the meat is done. And then you just put that on simmer, let that stay warm until all your other items get done. But I'll see y'all when it's time to whip up a plate and fry burritos. So stay tuned.